Virgo. Welcome to your February Spirit Message reading. Um, so glad to have you here. Welcome. Uh, if you are new to my channel, let me throw some, some house rules out before we get started. Uh, so these are going to be for my Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Um, these readings kind of goes without saying, but they're going to be general. So don't try to force the message. Take it as it resonates. If you have to forgive, forgive too many things or kind of adjust too many things in your circumstances, that message probably isn't meant for you. You know, so either check in with another video or um, maybe listen for another deck if it's not resonating. Um, with that said, I do recommend you watch the videos for all of your signs. Um, I, t I usually recommend Sun and Rising the most, so I would definitely check out those two. Then you can always add in the Moon. Um, but because they're general, you may resonate with one video more than the other, so just don't try to force it. Uh, for anyone who's new, uh, let me kind of walk you through the setup. So I have three Oracle decks here. We're going to pull one card from each to get a little snippet um, and kind of overview for a certain aspect of your month. I have the Romance Angels deck to look at love and relationships. Keepers of the Light for your own spiritual evolution and growth during the month. Uh, we'll pull in from the Good Tarot to get a look at work and finances. And then we'll finish off with a tarot spread at the end to get kind of your main, your main theme or main message for the month. All right? So with that said, let's get started. Uh, probably the day this gets posted, it'll probably be Chinese New Year, so or at least very close to it. So Happy New Year. Happy Valentine's Day coming up very soon. So let's see what is going on concerning love and relationships for Virgo in February. Oh, nice one, Virgo. Attraction. We'll take some of that, right? Prompt reads, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Living in joy, enjoying what you love, being happy, doing what gets you excited. I would say if you have any, like, whims this month, like, if you just, out of the blue, just want to pursue something, or there's something you want to do, go ahead and do it. I think that's going to be the moment you shine the brightest, and I think that's when you really will kind of be in this, this light of attraction and magnetism and just charisma. I'm all about it. And then Spirit, who's helping Virgo as we continue to grow and evolve through February? Oh. There you go. So you guys got Master Jesus. Forgiveness. So the prompt reads, you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Mm. So father, so it could be if you have relationships with your own father, maybe you've got some issues there that are going to be resolved this month. But I definitely, I keep looking at this, you know, he kind of has this mandala pattern, but then he has this kind of orb right there. Like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of heart chakra, you know, kind of healing going on for you. I just sense this nice kind of opening. And it probably has to do if there's some situation that requires some forgiveness. Whether it's forgiveness of yourself or forgiveness of others, I definitely think that is going to be a major healing point for you for this month. Um, and I think that's kind of going to be the gateway. I think that kind of opens up all kinds of abundance, not just, you know, healing and love. But I think this is really a key and a gateway for a lot of what you're going to be accomplishing in the next, you know, three and a half weeks. Fun. For some reason, that gets me really excited to do the tarot spread. Like, I think that's going to be really interesting. But I definitely see, like, a real healing moment happening there. All right. Now, what's going on with Virgo concerning work and finances? Do one more. Yes. So what did I tell you? If there was something you, if you had a desire to do something, you get this whim to go do something, try something new maybe, or something you've always wanted to do, please go ahead and do it. 
You guys got the Nine of Earth. Amazing card to have concerning work and finances. This is my Beyonce card. This is the indep independent woman. Everything you have, you've built and earned. This is someone who knows their value, knows their worth. I also want to say this comes through this forgiveness as well. You know, I think possibly there was a moment of you being... I almost want to say, like, very critical of yourself. Maybe even a little self-judgmental, I want to say. And that kind of blocked... It didn't block, because I think you are this no matter what. But you weren't really accepting it, or you didn't really believe it, because, oh, I did a bad thing, like, that must make me a bad person. Or, I, you know, I didn't do that. I only did it, you know, 85% and not 150, so I should be punished for that. You know, like, I didn't give it my best, so I am not the best. That's not the case. Because this is your energy, this is you. And I think you come to this point this month and through this healing where you really step into your power. Because this energy is very attractive. This is someone who knows their worth, knows their value, isn't trying to settle for less, but knows that they are worthy. Like truly worthy. So definitely for the workplace, you definitely are going to be doing very well. Like very well. Financially doing very well hardly anything to worry concerning finances. Good for you, Virgo. Alright, Spirit, what is the main message we have for Virgos concerning February? Move these guys up a little bit. first card out the moon interesting you get the moon the night uh, so i'm filming this on the fourth the night before chinese new year so this is the night of our new moon you have the moon card so i think this new moon which again is always a beginning it's a great time for some some new intentions this i think is really opening up some things for you i think there's a lot of new starts coming with this moon specifically for you virgos Seven of coins, you have the nine already. Here's the seven. This tells me you've done all the work. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're trying to achieve, whatever you're trying to manifest, you've already done the work. You're just waiting for, for it to arrive. But don't think you have to keep working so hard. You've done the work. You've done the work already. All right. And what did I tell you? You've done the work. Three of wands, it's coming. <laughs> I mean, the package is already in the mail. It's been shipped. It's on its way. Coming. And then, oh, yes it is. So you have the Six of Cups, which is usually nostalgia, looking back over the past. Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. Honestly, I think that is more so you taking control. For some of you, you may be working with an Aries, though. Then you have the Judgment card. This is like my, like, answering the Divine Call, finding your purpose. Um, this is also major Phoenix energy, so rising out from, you know, if you're struggling with something, having, a, you know, going through a little rough patch, and look, you get the Phoenix card, and then you have the Fool. So rising out of the ashes, finding your purpose, finding drive, motivation, and really starting this brand new path as the Fool, starting a whole new journey, taking some type of leap of faith. How do you take a leap of faith? When you know... You are capable of it when you know you are ready. Oh, all right. Let's pull some more cards. We have some time. I'm going to pull some cards on this fool. I think that's kind of interesting. Yeah, but I almost want to say this emperor may even be someone from your past coming back to you. You know, definitely could be an Aries. If, if you have an Aries in your, in your life somewhere or had an Aries in your life somewhere, that person may be coming back if they, they haven't even shown up or if they haven't shown up already knight of wands so this could be someone coming in definitely this is someone you know could be from a fire element so again aries um, but could also be a sad or leo this is someone really action oriented wants to get their hands through wants to do something you know wants to jump right in essentially so if this is a romantic partner they're coming in real hot. Let me just say that. 
And then you've got the Nine of Cups. So almost like the Nine of Earth, the Nine of Pentacles. But this is emotional contentment, being very happy with yourself. And again, I think this is really linked to that, that healing moment. I'm going to put those two together. You have the Palace of Wands, which is exclusive to this deck. So I always see the Palace cards as a physical place. This is an environment, a surrounding... Um, it's, it's a space that you inhabit. You know, and it could be internal or external. This is a place of desire. So I'm, I'm totally putting that with that Knight of Wands. And again, desire, passions, all of that lives in the Palace of Wands. Think what is governed by the Suit of Wands. Definitely attraction could be a real sensual situation going on. Could be a thing. Just saying. Uh, then you have the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Sun card. Very nice. So, these three. I think there is some type of... I almost want to say struggle, but I don't necessarily think that's... I don't think it's an actual struggle. But I think there's some type of, like, disagreement or you're not seeing eye to eye with someone or even a group of people in your life. And it's causing you some concern. Because um, Seven of Wands is usually... Some people see it as a block. I honestly see it as kind of sticking to your guns. And even if there's, you know, six other opinions coming at you that are completely different and varied from your own, you're like, no, I'm doing things my way. You can kind of see in the card that there's, you know, obviously there's seven wands. You're holding one and there's six pointed at you. But yours is the only one that's activated. Yours is the only one that's true. All right, so we're serving your own purpose. But I think you're almost worried about going up against that, that you know, opposition. There's six of them, one of you. I think there's some anxiety there. Whoever this, this person's on the other side, I, I'm kind of getting that they, or I feel like they mean something to you. you 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 either trust in them you value them so i don't necessarily think you're fighting but i just i think you just don't see eye to eye and you want you know either you want their approval you want their respect or you know you either or maybe you guys just have a close relationship you work really well together and you, right now you're just kind of at opposite ends so you're kind of worried about this dynamic don't be because you have the sun you know, this is the most positive card in the deck. Life, vitality, optimism. You have the ability to, you know, resolve this. I don't even want to say win, because, like, I don't see it as... It's not a fight or a battle, so it's not about who wins, who loses. But I definitely think you have the ability to find the resolution. Whether it's, you know, proving one side is right, one side, you know, or finding a compromise between the two, you can, you can find this answer here. And I think for maybe some of you, some of you, not all of you, I think some of you, maybe you had this moment already, and maybe you did something that maybe was, you know, less than honorable to get your way and to prove your point, and maybe that has caused some worry in you, and that may be where this forgiveness card is coming in. Because I keep kind of looking, kind of bouncing between these three since they're sitting right there. That may be, that may be a situation that you're kind of holding this inside, this, you know, anxiousness, maybe some guilt, you know, and then this, you have to forgive yourself for it, you know, or at, at least make it right. And you can, and it'll end well, because again, you guys got the sun card, as long as you do what's right, things will pan out. Woo, all right. All right, my lovely Virgos, I will send you on your way here. As always, thank you. Thank you for checking out the video. Thank you for being a part of this community. If you're not already, please hit the subscribe and join us. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and as always, I love to hear from you guys. If you want to share how this resonates or what's going on with you, or if you just want to ask some questions, I'm all open. Um, hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. Or if you want to book a private session with me, all that info is in the description box below. Um, have a great month. Love you guys. I'm looking at the, the camera, it's at 14.14 right now. So ones and fours may be significant for you for this month. Uh, but send you guys lots of love, take care, and I will see you in March. Bye.